fellow Earthlings, and welcome to the Open to Source Tech Zone. The new, improved Open to Source Tech Zone. Nestled in the Kootenays of British Columbia, a small town in Caslow, BC. We have the Tech Zone. And today in the Tech Zone, we're working on some lighting control with uh, open source piece of software called QLC Plus, uh, what you see here, um, and yeah, um, let's get right into it, shall we? So right now, um, I've set up a bunch of different fixtures in here already, um, and then uh, some functions, including... Uh, Color chase scenes, RGB matrix scenes, um, that uh, can do some pretty cool things. Um, and we've also set up some buttons and controls within here to, to do different things. You can see there's a button that says rainbow, turn that off, and then it goes dark, and then press it again, and it goes light. And then we've got a couple different uh, sound activated controls here. So if I hit that, it should start grabbing the audio, but it's not, and I think the reason must be because under the volume control is muted. So if we hit this button, now it'll start making the music go to the to the beat, which is kind of cool. Or the lights go to the beat, which is kind of cool. And to see, really see this, we can turn off the rainbow here, and boom, boom. See. It's sound activated, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, and then we also have uh, basic controls of our red, green, and blue here. And uh, also sliders here, red, green, and blue. Um, yeah. Uh, and so that's the virtual console under the simple desk. You can see you can have manual control over the lights. Say if I want to just move, tilt the one of those um, moving heads there. Just do that, and it tilts up. And I'm going to put it right about there. And then say I wanted to tilt the other one to the same. I just see 105, and I go to about 105, which is right there. And uh, this should be about the same, kind of cool. Um, maybe we'll turn the Christmas lights off. And let's just go back to our functions here in the virtual console. And then, actually, I can show you one other thing that I've set up here. Um, I've just hooked up one button for MIDI control, but uh, just to prove that I can do it, the uh, can be down is good. So I hit that button, it puts the rainbow on, I hit that, turns it off. And that cycles the rainbow around, and we can make it go a little bit to the beat, and also the rainbow. It's not too flashy, but it still comes in when the music's loud enough. Which we can turn off right now just to see it. Music and media and also open source. 
source software and hardware. Big ups to the open source world. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Shameless open source plug and Creative Commons plug right there. And also demonstrating the sound activation. Check it out sometime. There's a couch that you could probably crash on here, and you know, be cool to chill out and hang out. But uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, what were we doing here? Lighting, right? Okay, so that's the basic system. Um, uh, oh yeah, the other thing that I should show you here is on this page in the inputs and outputs page. This is where you set um, how it's outputting. Um, and you can see there's multiple universes here, so you can uh, have multiple different output methods, input-output methods, for example. Um, on universe 2 here, later, I want to set it up to control these uh, Wi-Fi enabled um, lights. This one's a record light that has some batteries in it. Um, and I want to be able to control it uh, and a bunch of individually addressable LEDs. So that's what I want to be able to control over Wi-Fi through something called ArtNet. <coughs> um, and yeah, so ArtNet is listed right here. So you can see um, there's some inputs and outputs for that. Yeah, um, pretty cool. So that's the basic thing. So. Um, you can see on Universe 1, I've got this DMX USB uh, outputting to, and that's just this little DMX USB dongle that I uh, got off the internet. I think it was around 20 or 30 bucks or something. And um, it's just a bare circuit board with connectors on it. And that goes out to a DMX cable, which goes to the first light. And the lights are all daisy chained together and addressed. Uh, with numbers, um, channel numbers, and each light has, each type of light has a different number of channels. Uh, most of them ranging between like 3 and like 15 or something. Some of them have a lot more. Um, but yeah, so that's basically that. You just set the number on each of, on each of the lights. Um, and right now I think I have 9 lights hooked up. Yeah, you just set all the numbers, and then um, make sure you save them all by pressing enter on the lights. I've learned that if you don't do that, they uh, they lose the number when their channel, when uh, the power gets disconnected, which could be annoying. Um, but yeah, so that's how that works with the DMX. And then here, you can see that there's an input from the Newmark Orbit Mini 1. Uh, thing which is just being right here, beautiful little thing, and it's wireless and actually has uh, accelerometers in it, so you can it can sense, you know, how you're holding it and the motion that way and that way as well, um, which is a really cool feature. And it also has a battery in it um, and can work wirelessly. But silly me, I cannot seem to find the little dongle that uh, connects it and. Uh, yeah, so it's tethered for now. Um, maybe that dongle will show up someday, or maybe we'll just get another one. We'll see what happens. But for now, we can look at the other pages. I think we quickly went over the fixture pages. This is where you add your fixtures. Um, I can actually stop this, and it's just going to make everything go black. 
but you can probably still see the screen, so that's good. So basically, in here, you just add a fixture by clicking on there, and, and yeah, um, I think we'll go through that later. Uh, so, how about we kind of start from scratch here? First, I'll make a screenshot. Dash live. We're saving. 
excellent right along. So, now that we have all of these set nice uh, lights set up here, um, what are we gonna do with them? Well, we could isolate all the red and isolate all the green and isolate all the blue and make buttons for that. And it might be a good thing to do, but I want to do something a little bit more fun. I want to make rainbows go around the room. You know what I'm saying? Rainbows all the way around the room. So let's do that. Okay, so how do we do that? So the first step is we take all the lights and we select them all by using the shift key on the keyboard to select them all. And then we right click on them and then add fixtures to the group, make a new group. We'll just call this one all lights. And I believe we have nine of them. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lights. So we'll make it nine wide and one high. So now that should make an array of these lights. Now let's go to function and quickly just add a function. Um, I'm just gonna save right now too because I did that. Uh, so control S to save. Let's do new RGB matrix function. And uh, let's try going all lights and then hit this button and just watch it. And it should kind of go around the room. Let's just see if it kind of is. And it mostly kind of is red dot. So this is cool. Right along, right away, we're getting something going, right? So we got the red dot going around the room. But uh, one thing about these red dots that go around the room, one time I get through this light over here and it shoots in my face and it blinds me. So I don't really like that. So what I'm gonna do is gonna actually move the head. And the cool thing about that light is I don't actually have to get up there and move it. It can be done in the software. So let's just simply do that. Um, there are many ways to do it in the software, but a really sort of simple way is to just find the control here and just tilt it all the way or pan it all the way. Let's let's start let's try panning it. It'll be kind of fun. So there's one light panning, and then let's try panning the other light. And then we pan the other light now. You can see there should be panning. Around. Yes, it's padding. Okay, it's almost there. There. And now let's tilt it just a little bit, just to make it uh, stick out. Let's go 90, 100 on the dots. Tilt it 100. Tilt the other one just the same, 100. Okay, so now we have red dots going around the room. And pretty cool, pretty cool. But uh, they're just red dots. Oh yeah, and then there's the black light dot too, because one of them's a black light and it looks exactly like the other one. So, what do we do with this red dot to make it more interesting? We go back to our functions here, and we change the pattern from stripe to a gradient. And I love gradient because it makes a true rainbow, right? Um, we go use the rainbow preset, which is very fun, very fun. Here, let's change the timing a little bit to make it more smooth. So to do that, I'll just go zero here, and now it stops it, right? But let's start it again with 250 milliseconds, and then another 250 milliseconds fading out. So then it kind of blends the colors together, you know what I'm saying? Makes a nice smooth-ish rainbow sort of thing going on, which is kind of fun. I think it's working, I don't know, let's look on the video, looks okay, cool, uh, right on, uh, yeah, so, it seems to be working, so that's pretty simple, so far we just uh, added our fixtures, and put them all into a group, add fixtures to group, and then went over here to our functions, created a new RGB matrix, and selected the fixture group that we created, and set the timing uh, to 
around 250 milliseconds, and this can be adjusted to make it a slower fade. Let's make it a higher number. So let's try 500. And then that makes it kind of a nice slower fade, which may be more suitable for what's going on here right now, especially with the music. Really, it's straight chilling, you know, working on the open source lighting and stuff. But yeah, so what else can we do here? Oh yeah, we can go to the music. Let's do that. So to do that, you just go this button right here, new audio trigger. And let's put it right in the center for now. And right click on it, go to widget properties. Actually, let's move it a little bit over here. properties and now this is where you set how it controls it um, so here I'm gonna set it to the base it's all about the base is triggered triggers the red um, sliders on these things and just the red and I'll have to add in an intensity uh, slider later make this all work, but uh, for now we'll just add the red in, so to do that we just go like that, and hit this apply all changes to fixtures of the same type, so it should automatically fill them once we start filling the first ones, but I like to just make sure that it does anyways, so from now on we shouldn't have to fill them, there's that, and that. excellent, so all the reds are selected for that, nine channels, let's go here, DMX, and Select all greens. Again, green, and then green, and then green, and then green, and then green. And that's it. So, with that done, I wonder if this is showing up. Yeah, sure, something like that, whatever. 
Okay, which properties, and let's just call this Master Intensity. It's kind of intense, isn't it? Yes, let's call it that. Yes, Master Intensity. Ooh, I like how that sounds, yes. And, uh, hmm, okay, so, in order to make this control something, we hit the switch to level mode, and then we want to go by group. And then select group, intensity, OK, and bam, it automatically checked all the intensity settings on our lights, which is pretty cool, very cool, makes it a lot easier not having to click, 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 click a bunch of times, you know what I'm saying? So, excellente, now we have slider for intensity, so now when we hit play here, and then we move the slider up, and then hit this button, it should be audio activated and we'll see oh there is some audio activation here wow good fun but we have very very chill out chill out music right now i want more peppy music for this right let's turn it up a little bit Cotton mouth time shift. Apparently, it's Creative Commons Media. Yeah. Big ups to the Creative Commons Media. Thank you, people, for sharing. Woohoo! Anywho. So, now, let's see. It is starting to activate the music. It's kind of fun. Whee! So, from here, what can we do? Well, it's already going the music, and uh, that's good! Fucking don't have to do anything, the show's over, you just fucking walk around and have some fun, party all night, right? And not quite, there's more fun stuff to do. So, let's get back at it. Um, uh, hmm. like, I just want to dance to music, but okay, let's just like, get into it. Okay, stop that just for a second. And I'm actually going to hit live editing mode here, actually. Wait, let's go. Bam! Sound activated. Sound activated. Live editing mode, and it turned it off. I'm curious. I'm not exactly sure why, but okay. Let's just add a button here, and let's make this button uh, control the rainbow around the room. It's kind of fun. Yeah, that would be fun. So let's do that. So what function does it make? Well, this is what I'm saying. Bam. And then click OK. And then I click that. And then hit this button.
we've got a couple things set up there. And yeah, it's moving right along. Um, I'm digging how things are going here. Uh, yeah, and there's definitely lots more that we can do with this. Uh, we can add in sliders for like green blue. We can add in sliders for individual lights. We uh, can set different scenes. Uh, we can set different show, we can set up a, a timeline for a show, so it can be an automated show that goes with the music. Uh, yeah, that sort of thing I haven't gotten into yet, but it should be fun to do. Uh, I enjoy playing with the lights live. Yeah, uh, but that should be fun too. Uh, so, yeah, oh yeah, this is a good spot to the book. where you want control over what the lights are doing. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, I guess I should check the chat. I don't know if people may have already asked questions or something. Nope, nobody's asking questions. Okay, that's fine. Maybe next time I would be stoked to answer your questions. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions later, you can always just send me a message as well, or you can even call me. Uh, yeah. Phone number is 778-717-5462. But, uh, yeah, um, if you're, yeah, if you're into any of this open source lighting stuff and, uh, software and hardware, um, I'm also getting into building these lights, um, and setting up a space with a whole bunch of tools to be available uh, for anyone to use. I hope to keep it free access to the tools and resources. And uh, yeah, hopefully upgrade the space so we have a bigger space uh, with, you know, more tools eventually, you know? I mean, like some like really cool, fun tools like CNC routers and laser cutters and 3D printers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, right now this is, is what it is and we've got quite a bit of tools. Most of them are hand tools, but there's a lot of cool things that you can do with hand tools, like build these fun record lights, um, uh, which yeah, I'm definitely gonna get into building more of and hopefully doing workshops where uh, people can build their own lights. Um, and yeah, have some fun doing it. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in the Caslow area and you're interested in this sort of thing, hit me up. Cool. Right on. Well, thanks for tuning in. And on that note, I bid you all adieu and good night. <laughs> <laughs>